Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 59 of Trail 1.3. Last episode, we started building an actual house. Uh, the beginnings of our actual house. Come on, ropes, go faster, get me up here. And also, I put my regen and band in here. I watched back over the footage, I'm like, what the hell did I do with it? I put my regen and band in there. Derp, 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 derp. So we got, really, we didn't get too, too far because we were doing other things. We got our... I had actually refreshed my bewitching buff and also summoned my my imps. And we, we used granite here. Whether or not I keep the granite, I don't know yet. But granite pillars, uh, the boreal wood obviously is going to be like the, the back background for all this. And I like the, the archway idea. We kind of decided that we will end up needing some more room over here. Uh, I feel like the house is going to be a little bit too big. Also... I talked about like a goal, something I would like to try or do or shoot for basically. That would be to have mannequins for all of the armor sets. Uh, like not every armor set, but uh, the vast majority of them. So that is a goal. I will have to uh, work on that. That's going to take some time. Now this episode, what I want to do is go over to the... Whoops, not like the break planter boxes. I would like to go over to the corruption... And kill the Eater of Worlds a few times. Not only for, like, you know, the extra cash, but there's a pet that he drops. There's, I think, something else maybe that he can drop that, that I want. Uh, I'll go ahead and, obviously, we'll, we'll kill him and see what that is. Uh, but, I mean, the money is obviously pretty important. I, I can definitely go for some more cash for rerolls. We spent a lot of money rerolling these boots, and it did not go the way I would have liked it to. So let's get our butts over here. I'm going to go ahead and quick stack some junk out of here. And while we're over here, we need rotten chunks, which I had a handful of. Vile powder, I'm going to need more. And that ought to be what I need. And we don't need this additional water bolt with us. It's just been carrying us around for no particular reason. And that ought to be good, because I'm going to be using water bolt for the vast majority of the fight. I do have mana potions. They'll help me. Uh, these these trees here that are black, they're not, like, dead. I accidentally put them down when I had the painter thing equipped. So I placed some trees that were black. I wonder if they'll grow up to be, like, actual trees. Like, like if that dye will carry over to the tree. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little curious to see if that happens. I'm sure I can paint the actual tree, like, when it's alive. But I, I want to see if it will take the uh, the paint and roll with it, so to speak. Uh, is there anywhere I can plant a tree here really fast? Should be able to plant one like right here? No? Smart Cursor tells me no. Uh, we used up all of the wood pretty much due to the mannequins, which uh, that's going to require a lot of wood to do. I can still use boreal wood and stuff like that, but boreal wood's going to end up being needed for our walls. Uh, in fact, like while I'm over here, while I'm working towards this biome, it'd be a good idea to pick some up while we're here. Traveling merchant is here. Don't think I require anything from you. Uh, so I'm not going to make a trip back because I want to go kill the eater. It's not like he won't keep spawning, but let's go ahead and slap down some of these acorns. Come on, smart cursor. Do your thing. Nope. Place you here. Place, 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 place. Okay, might as well slap some down here in this biome. Uh, I did kind of start like my own tree farm over here, didn't I? I thought I flattened out some of the area. So I'm not going to worry about these trees. Let me check. Yeah, I start slapping acorns galore down here. Should be able to get away with some placement here. There we are. All right, let me chop these ones down while I'm over here. It's not exactly a tree farm, but <laughs> it's a flat area. This biome is very bumpy for some reason. It's it's uh, not exactly flat. In fact, I mean, if I really wanted to, and it'd be a good idea in the long run, considering I'm going to need a very ridiculous amount of boreal wood here in the coming days. Let me just go ahead and flatten this out a wee bit more. So to go straight up here, and I'm going to start planting down some more of these acorns. How many do I have left? Five? That should be good, good enough for five acorns. Stupid umbrella slime. <laughs> I love these double imps. They're going to help me during this fight. I only have six minutes left on the debuff, or the debuff, debuff, so I should probably just straight up skedaddle. Stupid smart cursor. Screwing me up there. And squeeze another one in there. Okay, so let's get over here. Let's go ahead and while we have these dudes, I should be able to craft. I th think it's 15 vial powder. Could be wrong. I should have brought some glass because now that I think about it, you need to be on an alchemy engine to make the vial powder from the vial mushrooms. Damn it! 
I probably had vile mushrooms over there, but let me go get two kills in with the imps that I have. Should be able to get two kills in. I have the confidence. I mean, we did it with lesser armor, but granted I was like all buffed out and <laughs> had all the potions and yeah, I was ready to go. I think water bolt's just going to make the, a world of difference because it's going to be bouncing around hitting all of the segments. I, I have great faith in water bolt here doing ridiculous amounts of work for me. So, real fast, what we have to do is go down to a demon altar. And right here it works. So, I should be able to craft worm food. And yep, it's... Okay, it's 30 vile powder. I'm not 15. For some reason, I thought it was 15. It's 15 vile chunks. Which, I'm going to get a handful of vile chunks while I do this fight. Got five minutes left on Bewitch, so let's just get up here. We're going to summon him. And... Now, with the eater... I mean, this could go horrible. I could still die, but I mean, like, granted, I have way better armor. I just don't have all the buffs. I, I don't want these things here blocking it. I'm going to let the, the water bolt bounce around horizontally. It is probably better doing it vertically, but I don't have any blocks down here really to block the... Uh, the like, it's not going to return my water bolt evenly. I could block it off, but I'm not going to go all out. I, th I think we'd be okay. So, I have a regen potion. Eh, I, I don't think I'm going to need to use it, so I'm going to hold off on it. Let's just go for it and see what happens. This could be this could go horribly, horribly wrong. Just remember, I have a, uh, I have mana potions and such. See, I mean, I still could hit like 50s, but yeah, this is what I figured. Water bolt would do this. Water bolt would uh, <laughs> if he comes at me at a horizontal angle, he's gone. <laughs> Water bolt is not to be trifled with. This is why I said if you get it like early game, th this fight's just a joke. I'll give you the mana stars. Yep, I, I, I don't even know why I remotely worried. <laughs> so just keep spamming water bolt and picking up mana crystals, mana stars, whatever these things really are. That's that's a ridiculously easy fight. So I'm getting a ridiculous amount of money from the segments. So that is nice. A lot of the money is going to come from the demonite and the shadow scale that I don't need, and it's also going to come from when I open that that goodie bag here. Right there, that treasure bag is going to have some nice wonders in it. Now I can't make another one. That sucks. But, there's, there's sand to my left. I could slap down a furnace, right? I was like, I just need stone. I can't make ebb stone. Regular stone over here. Is that regular stone right there? That might be some stone. I might be able to make a furnace really quick and then not have to go back home. Let's try that. You guys can just uh, do TFO. <laughs> so it's ebb sand, or this is ebb sand. Uh, I shouldn't need that. Uh, this should work. And there is stone over there. So we're going to need to make some, just enough to get a bottle. So that's probably plenty. Let's go ahead and pick up some stone. This is all just so I don't have to go back home and then run over here. And I ought to be able to make a furnace here shortly. I think 20 is plenty. So I'm going to need to whiff or make a crafting bench. Unless I have one over here. I don't remember. I need to get some vile mushrooms. Uh, no, I have a campfire. No bench. So I slap this down. Slap a furnace down. Unless, like, do I need torches? What am I missing here for a furnace? No, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, he did need torches, but he had them. Now, glass. What the hell's a glass? There it is. I, my cursor was right on top of it. Derp. Bottle. Bam. <laughs> hey, the party girl finally came back. Interesting. I don't need any of this stuff. Just go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, let's see here. So I should be able to make vile powder. Not as much as I want. So, the problem is I need to go ahead and gather some of these vile mushrooms. They should be a plenty on the surface. So, I mean, this is this is easy. I have two minutes left on the buff. Not that I really need it for the fight, as we discovered. <laughs> so, I might go home and pick up my vile mushrooms. It, it might end up being quicker than looking for them. They're not, they're not uncommon, but they're not, like, a plenty right now. Not looking like I'm getting that lucky with the amount of them that there are. Especially since you only get five powder, and then you need 30. So, how many do I have? 15. I have enough to make another worm. Let's, or another thing of worm food. Let's make another Let's make another one real quick. Let's just go back to the arena. Give me that. And them rotten chunks. I need them rotten chunks for sure. The more the better. Can't remember though if you need rotten chunks later on for the, the, to or the destroyer. He's like the upgraded version of the eater. I can't remember if it's just souls or in bars or what. But here we go. Should be able to make another one. Obviously, I have to go down to the demon altar. You get out of the way, sir. Demon altar. 
Nope, that's not a demon altar. Get over here. That's a demon altar. Okay, let's get our butts up here. Yoink. Get out of my way. And summon. Alright, water bolt. Do your thing. Just start bouncing around, sir. <laughs> oh, look at it. Water I'm not, I don't even have to shoot anymore. Water bolt's just gonna. <laughs> you go, girl. Oh, I love water bolt. I haven't shot another one in how long? <laughs> it's so good! Alright, well, let's actually start shooting back and pick up those little mana star things. Yeah, this uh, too easy. <laughs> just make a little box like this and just spam water bolt in every direction. <laughs> Look at all the money we were getting. 19, I haven't even opened up those those things. Sweet. Like two, three gold maybe per fight, just as loot. No, we're actually over three, we're at four. So he's been canned, he's dead, he's gone. Let's see, can I get four? I'm close. Oh, what's this? Four gold, almost five. And there's some silver down there. And there's some loot down here. Is that, it? Is that its treasure bag? That'll it drop down here for. Her. Okay, well, that's another kill. So I can go home and make a few more, I'd, I'd assume. Go ahead and actually delete that. Now. Yeah, let's go home real fast. Sell our, uh, sell our spoils. Hey, hey, the traveling merchants here. Let's see. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need any of this stuff. So, that's 16 gold. 99 silver, so oh, the demonite ore is where a lot of the money comes from. And when I open this, I'm going to get some more as well. So, let's see. This is where I have the potential to get the that one thing I'm talking about, the pet. So we got guarding, which is okay. It's not what I'm after. Uh, my inventory's kind of full, so let me just sell this stuff right to you. So it's worth the gold. Not bad. And this is where, again, this is where a lot of the money comes from, the demonite ore. Surprising. How, 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 how expensive it is, really. So, I didn't get the pet thing there either. I think it's like worm food, or it looks like a worm food icon, or something like that. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's what it is anyway. So, we can sell the shadow scales. Um, sell the extra. Oh, hey, look. That's melee speed. I thought I thought it said menacing for a second, because I saw the plus four melee. I thought it said melee damage, or, or damage. I don't know why I thought that. I'm just being stupid. But, let's sell it. Now, I should... Butcher the bunny. I should have more mushrooms in here. Unless I made them all in the powder, and that's the, where I got the powder. Oh, nope. We got some. Any more? New. New. Maybe I don't. I have 14, which is that's a, that's a good start. That helps me out. But I don't have as many as I would have liked. So, let's go ahead and whip together some vile powder. There it is. That's enough for two. Okay, that's cool. We can go get some more. I'm going to need more rotten chunks for this. <laughs> Look what it did to the trees. So what I'm guessing happened here, these things are two blocks high. So when it grew, the two blocks that it occupied were black. But the... <laughs> what? The, that's a odd. But okay, I'll go ahead and I'll fix that, I guess. That, that's a little weird. <laughs> I can't expect. I didn't think it would do that. I figured it would either make all the tree black or none of it. But well, now we now we know what the hell it does. <laughs> That's weird. Hey, no, let me fix that. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, so let's get back over there. Do another one of these fights. I, I'm liking the 50 stack of coins. Uh, that, that's gonna go a long way. Um, we should be out of platinum now. I have like 70 something left in there earlier. So if I deposit all this. Yep, we should be hitting a platinum, which is good, because you saw earlier how fast I can go through a platinum coin when I failed to reroll this thing correctly. <laughs> and that's going to happen a lot more as the game progresses. The better the item, and the better rolls you get on that item, the more expensive your, your rerolls or reforges are going to be. So, yeah, the more cash you have, the better. Uh, give me the acorns. See, I like this. This is already giving me quite a few trees. And the more boil wood, again, the better. I, I need that. Go ahead and slap these things down. Markers are doing its thing. Okay. And there's a lot of trees here in that little area. Works for me. So, no, I no. Get out. Water, get, get water bolted, sir. Let's get our butts over here and try to avoid being chilled. 
Man, I just real realized how far I am into the game, and I, I still don't have a blizzard in a bottle or a sandstorm in a bottle. God, I would love the bundle of balloons. It's so good. It gives you all three the the bottle jump effects in one. Oh man, I'd be flying so much further. My problem is, I guess like the reason I really haven't gone all out to get it yet is it does kind of get phased out later game. I mean, it's really nice to have, but once you have the wings, and then you have like the onk charm and ooh, a blood moon. It's been a while, but it, it's like it just it's still amazing, but it kind of can get replaced. So the blood moon, uh, the blood zombies I've killed. I think you have to find the skeleton merchant with during a blood moon and he sells something. I think he sells that that one thing I've been talking about that gives you like the light source. I can't remember if there's anything else that I particularly need. Hmm. NPCs, do they sell I feel like they might be selling me something a little bit different. Now obviously the death weed's gonna be out and about, so we're we're gonna wanna go home here. Let's let's summon him. See if I can get enough war, uh, rotten chunks to make another eater or uh, summon another eater, and then we'll head home. Yeah. Oh, if you want to just keep coming at me like that, that's that's perfect. Eh, yep. Okay. You 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 uh you practically killed yourself there, sir. <laughs> go ahead. Just come through here. Yep. There you go. All right. Give me them. Give me them mana stars. Am I getting any rotten chunks? Like, do you? I thought you did, but it doesn't look like it. I kind of wish the, these eaters could still get in here. So we destroyed him. Like, <laughs> didn't even have a chance. Poor guy. You almost feel bad for him after a certain point. Well, the uh, blood moon should mean you guys spawn more often. I am perfectly okay with that. And slap one of those down now. Oh, a dripper. Dripper, dripper. Did the dripper... Why do I feel like the dripper might have had something? Why are there zombies? The blood zombie gives me the shackle, which... Or I'm sorry, not the shackle. The piggy bank, which I already have. So I don't need that. Can I actually get down here? What are you doing, sir? <laughs> Let's get down here, and while the blood moon's active, the, the eaters should be spawning like crazy. I should be able to get a good bit of worm chunks here. Rotten chunks. I need... 15 so I can do this. Hey, you guys just keep on dying. Hey, come on. I, I feel like you guys should be spawning more. Another rotten chunk. That's cool. I'm using water bolt down here because obviously it's going to just bounce all over the place in this little cave. It's kind of like designed for this kind of area. Any place that is confined, water bolt excels. You, sir, just got wrecked. 11 rotten chunks were close. See, it's killing things off screen. I'm not even I'm not even sure what it's killing. <laughs> oh, I love Water Bolt. I'm so glad I got it. I genuinely wish I could have gotten it earlier. Uh, we, are, we are three chunks off. We're close. You're so dead. <laughs> once, once the Water Bolt catches up. Nope, you've got no chance. I really wish I could have more things spawning right now. I feel like I'm getting shafted a little bit. Like that, that that's a good spawn. Like that's something I would expect. Okay, let me get over here. Go ahead and just pop a mana pot. Use some more mana, because these guys aren't giving me the mana stars that I want. Rotten chunks. One off. One off. One in this pile? None in that pile. Oh, there's one. We could just kill the eater down here. It'd probably be better. Uh, Screw it. Let's try it. Go, 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 go. I guess like doing it right here would be better. <laughs> oh, you've got no chance, sir. You, you've got no chance. Nope. <laughs> hey, come up here where there's some water bolt for you, and let me grapple so you can't toss me around. Yep. I'm sorry. I, I kind of feel bad for the for this dude. I'll get your back, get your butt back up here. Look at that money stack that was right there. That was nice. There he goes. Give me that treasure bag. I have another rotten chunk, but I do want to go home and hit up those NPCs and also go harvest my death weed. So I feel like you guys might sell something slightly different during the blood moon. Fallen tuxedo shirt.
Mind mask. I feel like that is probably... It's expensive, but it's probably unique to the Blood Moon. You... Do you not have anything different? Party girl. Does she have a mean thing to say to me? You better stay out of my hair tonight, hon. Y yep. So she's not happy because it's a Blood Moon. I, I touched on that topic earlier. <laughs> you got anything different? You got the safe now because we killed Skeletron, but... Edit. Oh, I hit the grave. Underground caverns. Eh, it's a little bit late to go do this quest. Do -do -do. Nothing. I do want to go at least see the Dryad. I think she might have different planters for me. Could be wrong. Okay, so let's yeah, let's go ahead up the Dryad real fast. And actually just run through here. Quick stack everything. Things I don't need. Fallen star in my house. Another black tree. Or kind of black tree. <laughs> Two blocks of black doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Go ahead and get my butt up here. And let's run over to the Dryad after I do this again. Because I like my double imps. So fun. Wow, they changed to yellow because of the Blood Moon. That's funny. <laughs> okay, well, you've got you've got a fancy house all by yourself. You have nothing to be angry about. I want you to buy my stuff. I want you to buy my stuff, okay? She's being mean. Uh, she does sell the corrupt seeds in the vile powder, so you can spread it. Uh, the dirt rod. Uh, so she doesn't have anything. I thought she might have... There's a couple stuff that changes during the Blood Moon. There's a lot. Actually, there's a lot that changes during the Blood Moon. I might be missing something right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some of this Deathweed and be happy with that. Now, I kind of wish some more monsters would spawn up here, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go down and kill them. No, no, why did you plant a Moonglow? Or plant down here. Was there a Moonglow missing? Uh, I would just uh, kill it. So, I, it looks like I missed a Moonglow when I went through here to place thing so quick stack all the things we're good on that front and you guys yeah hey look another money drop oh RNGs Jesus once I get one I'll get like 20 that's usually what happens all right dripper why do I keep thinking the dripper has something unique like I thought it did I have to look that up again I, I totally forget so while we wait I can sell this I don't need it I can open these so I don't need the mask warning Warning! Warning! What did, what did I have previously? The melee speed? Oh, warning. Look at that 27 defense. 31! Oh, I love it. Didn't have to reroll it or anything. That makes my day. So I will sell the mask. What do you want to give me? Hasty worm scarf. So not good, but... Uh, hey, the warding. The warding makes that all better. I, I'm very I'm very grateful. Sweet tits, Batman. <laughs> Let me go down yonder, and I think I will spend the remainder of my time actually just teleport home and kill things here. Because there's a good bit of money to be had to kill these dudes. Hey, look, the groom. Taste, taste water bolts there. Just getting bounced back and forth. Poke. <laughs> so we got the top hat. For sure, I already have one or two of those. I will continue to kill the drippers. And get some bees in there to kill you. Zombies don't need to be killing. Uh, my bug net. No! <laughs> the imp killed the firefly. Damn it. I could use some more fireflies. We've been running a little bit low on bait. Because we've been doing a lot of fishing. Uh, hmm. You know, here's an idea. We need to go down here because we need to go... Uh, was it underground? I think this this fish was. Was it underground in caves? Let me check. Underground and caverns. If I can check this where it says no rare creatures creatures nearby, this is the one I need to go down. If it says no rare creatures nearby, it, I believe it does detect the skeleton merchant. Now, the odds of me obviously finding the skeleton merchant while on a blood moon and avidly looking for him are slim to none. But at the very least, well, there goes a the blood moon. Never mind. <laughs> so, I should have looked at the clock. So, it's a new day. Fuck. So, so I got screwed over there. I, I obviously started too late. I should be like another quest now, though. Yep, so, I need to go to a glowing mushroom biome. So, I, I kind of kind of screwed up there, but that's that's alright. I will I will accept my wording worm scarf. And all the extra cash that I got because I was farming him. I'll accept it. That's awesome. Now, in fact, when I quick stack, does it make a platinum? 
It made a platinum, but it put it in my inventory, which is kind of funny. So, let me go ahead and start stacking money in here. Is there any copper? I don't see any copper coins. Can't really sell those. They're really not worth anything. Um, uh, well, I don't know why there's a fish statue in there, so I'm going to go ahead and get the fish statue out. I got another... Did I get... Without I get another money trough? I'm not even paying attention. What I, what I tell you? I get one, I get twelve. Okay, well, I'll sell this. Fish statue. Here, you, sir, have earned yourself a fish statue. Or, or not, because apparently I can't put it in here. Well, none of you get a fish statue, okay? Alright, well, I'm just going to go to the roof. You guys are jerks. You can't have your own fish statue, then. Um, go ahead and quick stack what I can. And that's going to have to do it for this episode, unfortunately. Uh, the next episode, I'll probably get back to building. Just wanted to break up with a little bit of combat and kill him. I didn't get what I needed from the Eater of Worlds. Take the, take the Warding Worm Scarf, absolutely. But I was looking for that pet, and I'm going to look it up. I can't remember what it was, but I know he has something unique. I wonder if... It makes me wonder if the Eye of Cthulhu has something else that's unique. But I will have to look into that, into that later. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.